Welcome to the Weekly Blend Reality Check. I am Corey Burris. I'm Lass Lund. I'm Greg Santee. And this is a new thing that we actually started that is uh, essentially our review, but this is kind of our review that we're going to do after the game launches. So it's never going to be the week the game comes out. It's going to be a couple weeks later because... As we all know, well, we talk about our initial impressions of a game once it releases right. on our audio podcast, right? Which comes but out every week, and often, you can find that at theweeklyblend.com. Yes, it's just, we often do it with rose-colored glasses on, right? Where we're like, "Wow, this game's brand new! I just took yeah. the ceiling up. It has that new car smell, kind of thing." Like, we're really excited about it. Yeah, and you can shoot a gun in a game. It's <laughs> yeah. amazing. Everybody's so what, what we want to do with changes. Yeah, what we want to do with Reality Check is revisit a game a couple weeks or a month later and see if it really stands up to the test of right. time. So this is our first one, and this one is on probably the biggest game that's coming out this year, second to one other game that's coming out in a couple weeks, and that is Halo Reach, and this is Bungie's last Halo game. Um, it released almost exactly a month ago now, and we've been playing it, we've played every aspect, we've finished the campaign, we've played co-op, we've done Firefight, we've done Forge the multiplayer. Mode, yes. Forge mode, we've all jumped into every... We put significant amount of time into right. this yes. thing. And we're going to come back and just kind of talk about it. So let's talk first about uh, campaign. Uh, now that we've kind of had a little bit of time away from it, what do you guys think of the campaign, like overall? Overall, I still hold the campaign as the best part of the whole game. Oh. That for me is where I, I had the most enjoyment, even though it wasn't nearly as long as, or as, I didn't put in as much time in the campaign as I did on any other aspect of the game. It still, for me, was the freshest experience, and I think it I think it held to, together well. And especially when you finish the game, last couple of missions get really, um, they just get much better than the, all the rest of them. So I think that for the campaign, that is that is the bread and butter for me on that on this game. I would agree, and I also think that like it held together well all the way through. Where I right. think as a lot of you know we, the infamous uh, you know library level in the first Halo right. um, and the second and, oh, sure. and, the, and the second level or in the second Halo Halo Three. I don't remember there being such epic moments. There were a couple of missions that we would go back and play together because they were epic, and I felt like every mission within Halo Reach had an element of that, if not all the way through. I don't think I ever replayed any of the Flood missions in Halo 3 out of pure frustration. I <laughs> they were hated terrible. seeing yeah, the Flood. Uh, I hated that. For me, um, Halo, Halo Reach's campaign is definitely up there. I think I think I still hang on to the first Halo well, campaign yeah. as being the best, but Reach is right there underneath it. I, I mean, the missions... Are, they are phenomenal. They're really well done. It is a very cohesive experience. I agree with you guys. They did All the missions back, are very well done. They brought back they're, a lot of Halo 1 feel from yep, the grand yeah. scale battles into well, this. And, and like you guys said, there is no one bad mission that stands out. Right. The, the experiences are new with all the jetpacks, and then you're flying around in the Falcon, and you're, right. you're doing a lot of different stuff, like the holdout right in front of the, in the ice caves. Like that, there's all that was awesome. Lots of really good stuff in the campaign, especially even the end where they, they mix it up a little bit, and you kind of have this emotional you know, mission. Yeah. So and playing through four player co op was awesome. I mean, I think they and well integrated. They, yeah, like some yeah. games will have it's a great single player experience, and then you get into the co op experience, and you're like, really? Or vice versa? It's like right. a great co op experience, but well, if the you game try to play, it scales that, to you. Yeah, and I thought that one thing that to this game extent, did yeah. did a really good job was you play it on the harder difficulties. You turn on a couple of skulls or variables in the game. And it really does change the experience. And mm -hmm. you have to work together. You have right. to play together. You know, you might have a person like we have, which is a Sam that runs around and can kill everything. But for the most part, yeah, you, still, player. Yeah, you still have to work together to yeah. kind of make things happen. Yeah. And I think that they did a great job on it, that. I mean, I kind of, this is kind of weird, but I feel the same way about Borderlands when I play that single player. Yeah. I play it so much slower when I'm by myself. Exactly. But when I have friends around to, you know, watch my Also, all charge we, yeah. we all can run through. And it doesn't mean we're running through it. Right. But we're it's just different acting play as a team. It's different yeah. play style. And, and that's it what almost I feel. feels like it, not a different game, totally, but it has a it different feel variety. to it. You know, yeah. And you know how there's certain points where in the game where you go through a section, you go to an area, and then you come back? Yeah. I thought that would bother me, and it, and it didn't in this game. What did you guys feel about that section of the game? I felt because it was such a... I agree with you. Because it was such a huge world, I felt like it was a big sandbox, and I was just running around in the sandbox. So in that sense, it didn't feel as much like you're retreading ground, mm -hmm. whereas I think a lot of other games was like... Really, I'm gonna run by this hallway like six times today. So yeah. So let's talk about a little bit about Firefight, yep. which they brought over from ODST, and I'm gonna be Light honest. Light years better. Yeah, it's a lot better. It's a lot better in a, in the sense of it has an ending. 
I don't think we've really played it enough as much as I would like to have. Had. Oh, we've played some time. Played, I mean, it's... I played that more than I played the multiplayer. When I'm by game. myself, that's what I play. I play score attack and some I of play those with things. other people I don't know. Sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you'll just jump into matchmaking. I will just ju- I, it's just fun. Yeah, it's fun, and they and there's they, so many variants. It's nice because there are it's different levels than in competitive multiplayer. Right. So you right. do get a little bit of, bit of variety there. There's so many games. The challenges, they they, they do a good job of challenging you, but not making it so difficult where you're chucking your controller across the room. Right. Yeah. Um, It's it's great to be able to work with, I mean, that it is an evolution of Firefight, which was so much fun on ODST, and that now, you know, it's here with us again is great. I mean, they have have modes like where the first wave is just grunts, and then it goes up, and now you got jackals, and then come the elites, and the brutes, and and it just keeps piling on top of each other. It's it's just a really cool, um, the different game types they put within Firefight. Yeah. Uh, the one thing, uh, the the big thing that most people play Halo through for is obviously just the multiplayer, competitive, competitive multiplayer. multiplayer, and this um, is probably where all three of us are going to have more frustration with the game than yeah, you know, or than in the other modes. Probably, right. I still, I mean, when we jump into a good game of Invasion, and, and a good game is one where we're evenly matched, which I don't think Halo Reach does a good a job, good enough job of finding people that are at the same level you know, of ability. You as have other to games. check that that box to look for people, oh, and I do here. every time. But it, once I did that, it completely changed my my. Okay. Uh, it's my been better, too. and it's better to have the party leader. The party leader needs, needs to be. To be the, person, the lowest person. Like, I need to be the party leader because I'm probably the most average of all of us. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty bad. So, <laughs> yeah, you balance this out great. <laughs> you bring Sam down a little bit. There we go. So, um, but yeah, yeah the, the, the the skill levels, you know, it's still a little spotty. Sometimes you can get in with guys that just right. absolutely mop the floor. And that's what you. I feel like is there's some game types like Invasion. I know you love Invasion. Just I'm talking plain Invasion here, not Invasion Slayer. If you get underneath... Some to, most of the times you cannot get on top of it. Yeah, they just once someone gets on top in that yeah. game. Time I'm more is, into Invasion Slayer than Invasion. I love Invasion Slayer. And I think what we've seen, especially in the last couple of weeks, is you know we were all worried about how the equipment would affect the gameplay, and and within the first couple of weeks of Halo, it wasn't that bad. But now the people You're that play it religiously people, are right? finding the, the the you know the micro level tweaks where they can really exploit. Right. Uh, the armor lock or the jetpack ability, specifically those two. Specifically yeah. those two, mm-hmm. and uh, it really is a source for some huge frustration. And that's my biggest problem with it. I mean, and maybe it's my Halo hatred a little bit. And I don't hate Halo, but it was something about this game just kind of rubs me the wrong way. When the we competitive get into multiplayer. Com- yeah, that's why I kind of like. It, it works. The armor abilities work really well when there's vehicles because that's kind of a counter. That's the counter for it. Yeah. Whereas now they're and and the armor is more of a counter to the vehicles than it is to the personal thing, right. you know. And so I find there's a lot better balance when there's vehicles. That's why I like doing big team battle or t- t- invasion slayer because there's again, vehicles. The reason I like that also is because you don't start with that stuff. Right. You start with builds, limited stuff, yeah. and as you progress through the the match, you get more stuff. Right. That's the greatest strength I think of the invasion mode is that the progression, the progression of it. And so everybody starts on the most basic level, and then it opens up. And so your teams, I mean, it, it just provides more balance. Right. I just don't like that. Like, I do not like playing Team Deathmatch because it is... That used to be... In Halo 2, that's all I played. It and is. Now I can't. Yeah, me too. And, and, and I'm just... It. It's just, to me, it's total chaos. And they've changed enough that I was so used to in Halo 2 and Halo 3 where it's like meleeing. There's not as much of a push right. forward when you melee. Yep. The grenades... There's like zero lunge. Yeah, there's no lunge. The timing for melee is really different. People And because people are exploiting these things... To me, it's I don't play just Halo enough fun. to get a hold of that stuff. So yeah. well, another another that. thing that we can talk about is the limited level selection. Yeah. You know, I mean, it and granted, Halo. I think they made sixteen total maps, but they're not available in each mode. There's not a version yeah. for it for Firefight and for Slayer and for Invasion. So depending there's, on the mode you're in, there's like six um, Firefight levels. There's two Invasion only levels, yep. right. and there are eight, eight um, multiplayer levels. Four of which have been completely built in Forge, Forge and so they look very, very similar. Right, so really, right. it feels like you have four levels yeah. in competitive multiplayer yeah. compared to, and they're releasing all of, for a price, and that's right. The right. So it's just been, I mean, once again, 
having played the game now for a, over a month or just about a month, yeah. we're starting to you starting to see where the threads are starting to show a little bit, in, especially mostly in terms of the competitive multiplayer. Right. But and partially, and that is because of some game design and a lot to do with just those nerds that sit in their their house and just play this game only. Right. And it makes it really hard when you get matched up with those people constantly. I did have my biggest criticism, I think, of the whole multiplayer thing is the grind for credits. Sure. See, I actually don't mind that because I think what they're doing, and they've already talked about how there's a credit system and this is how you level up. It's like a point system, but that's also how you buy new armor and some of those things. Similar to what they're going to be doing in Black Ops. Mm -hmm. And and I actually didn't mind it because if you do the daily and weekly challenges or try to do a couple of those a day, you can level up the problem. You've got to play daily. And weekly for that, but but the, there's That's new the challenges point. every day, so you can come back whenever you want. Yeah, I would go in. I'm like, but I, I don't feel like do those it's, it's a great way for them to 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 get pander to their hardcore audience, people that are already at le- lieutenant colonel level three, which is the cap right now, right? And the people that just play sporadically, kind of like us. I mean, we're you know, you're a captain, I think. I'm you know, I'm in the the direct. Median where most people sit is warrant officer. I'm in warrant officer, and, as well. and that's well, where most people I, will. Sit. I will find that that's one thing that I actually agree with you because one thing that they did is warrant officer. Like it's you get in, like most games, you go really fast up to a certain level, and then it starts grinding a little right. more. The problem is, is that after you get done with warrant officer, it stops grinding as much. Like I'm flying through captain. I'm to captain grade two. I'm up three levels. Is, within I think captain. that the warrant officer is the longest or the most amount of experience. Which you is need. a weird thing for them to do right. because you get locked into it for such a long time. And I, what I wish is, within each grade, you unlocked something, and you right. don't. Well, that's which the, is that's frustrating. The, that's the quality that Call of Duty has and that other shooters right. have. Is that every time you get a level, you get something. You may not want it, or you may not find it useful, but at least you unlock something. Here in Halo, it's only when you, you hit unlo- the major right. rank up. It's not right, and there's only five of those. Right. So that's I, to me. I'm with you. All that stuff does unlock problem. as you buy it too. Sort of. I'm just, but I guess like if you buy a helmet, you'll unlock the different. Yeah, yeah but if for you're a level enough for it, because right. some of that stuff doesn't unlock until you're in the next grade up. I guess, I guess for me, when I when I see that one helmet that I would like when I get to captain is a hundred thousand points, or I don't think it is a hundred thousand points, is it? It's forty. Forty thousand points, or like a visor color is a hundred thousand, hundred thousand credits. I I've like gotten a hundred thousand credits total right now, and yep. I'm in the middle of warrant officer. That's yeah. a lot of credits. Well, so, I think of some of them are a couple million. You know? That's what I'm saying. It's like, but that's that's for the hardcore. That is, but, 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 but what, bummer, that what the bummer thing about that is, though, is that since I'm not a hardcore player, I'm being hardcore penalized. Is it takes? I mean, I wish that I could like leisurely get to there yeah. eventually, but it would literally take me a year to do that. Sure, it's it is a frustration. I think that they're gonna have to address it. Um, now, or do some double triple experience weekends or something. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh! And maybe they will do They'll that. Probably something do that like that. I I. I agree with you that it, there the week Call of Duty problem. Black Ops comes out, they'll do it. Yeah, again. double yeah. experience weekend. Uh, yeah, I, I won't be play. playing that weekend. Yeah. Uh, so. Another thing that they've been doing. One of the best things about Halo is obviously the the videos that you can see. I mean, you just watched that one today, Greg, where the guy drops out oh of the, the Falcon, gosh. shoots a rocket, blows a banshee up, and then proceeds to jetpack back into, into his into his Falcon. Seat. And so. Halo lends itself to lots that. of crazy antics. Yeah, yeah, more so than a, a traditional shooter would. And so, I don't know. File some sharing of those and over stuff, the, like the knife kills over the buildings, are pretty true. But I mean, it's it's great to see that people are utilizing right. the addition of the file share. Also, yeah. yeah, and that too. More than that, I, just the video aspect. It's open to way more people because yep. of Bungie Pro. Yep, and, and so you don't have to have this recording machine. So I mean, whatever. Bungie has really put together a pretty stellar package. I mean, even despite our gripes. For sixty bucks, you're getting a ton of content. And Absolutely. other than and other than the let's let's be honest, other than the the point system and having some problems with how they kind of tiered some of those things, overall, it's if you like Halo, you're gonna love Halo. Absolutely, oh it gosh. is a polished it's, version it's of Halo. It's, it's, it's one of the most complete editions of Halo. I mean, right. you may have some nostalgia feel, you know, some nostalgic feelings towards previous entries for a way they did something or right. the campaign, like I do to, towards Halo One, but like. Overall, if you love Halo, this it's, is a go-to, Halo, yeah. right? Yeah, it's great. So, should definitely check it out and join us online. So, yeah. you can always find out everything that we have on the Weekly Blend at theweeklyblend.com. You can also follow us online at twittercom slash Burris. <laughs> slash Lassa Lund. slash Greg Santee. Until next time, we're out. Mm.